The second leg of the League Cup semi-final. Manchester United away at Hull City. Really a great chance for Manchester United now to get to Wembley. Really is. We've got a two-goal lead, a comfortable 2-0 cushion over Hull City. And I would expect Manchester United in this second leg to progress to the final. I can't see why Manchester United can't now. Okay, the job is not completely done and we can't underestimate Hull City. But you would expect Manchester United to get through this tie, even if we do rest some players. Losing 3-0, I can't really see Hull City winning 3-0. Stranger things have happened, but I would expect Manchester United to comfortably get through to the final. And we will have to wait and see who we get, Southampton or Liverpool. Both games are going to be difficult. Southampton are up and down. Liverpool aren't playing too well at the moment, but... Either team's going to be hard. I would obviously prefer to play Southampton because if we lose to Liverpool, call that would be devastating. But we will have to wait and see who we get. That game's before this game, so we will know who we get in the final because I'm pretty sure Manchester United are going to qualify for the next leg for the final. But we will have to wait and see. The, the team news ahead of the game, hopefully, we've heard that Luke Shaw is back fit. So hopefully he can be amongst the squad for this game. Jose Moreno has hinted that he will potentially be involved in this one or the Wigan game. So we might see him on the bench at least. I would expect a fairly strong lineup, but not as strong as previous game. Previous game against Stoke. I would expect Romero to go in goal for this one. Don't really need to play David Hare for this game when we're comfortably got a two goal lead. At the back he's probably going to put Ashley Young at full back in this one. I would go for Fosa Mentor at right back. And Blind at left back because I'm not too short on Luke Shaw. If Luke Shaw's fit and ready, I would give him a run out as well. Then the, the centre halves, Smallins, not, didn't really look too clever for me in that game against Stoke. If Rojo's fit, Rojo and Jones can, can be back. I wouldn't want to put the squad too weak because we've got big games coming up, probably in the Premier League in the future. But I w we've got to get the job done, put it that way. So we've got to put a strong enough lineup out to get the job done. You know, this is the sort of game where Fellaini can carry on playing in the midfield for me. I would have rested Carrick for this game and not for the Stoke game myself, but hindsight's a wonderful thing and Jose Mourinho gets paid millions to make these really tough decisions because if it had paid off, then everyone would have said, well, it's great that Carrick got a rest against Stoke. But we've got two games on paper that we should get through to the final and then we've got the Wigan game. So these were the games where I would have liked to see Carrick rested. But I, would, I wouldn't mind seeing... Seeing Fellaini in the midfield, we might go with the midfield two for this game. Probably bringing Paul Pogba out of this out could potentially bring him out of the lineup. If not, he will be rested probably for the Wigan game. One or the other. I would personally rest him for this game because the Wigan game is obviously a must-win game. This one we could draw or even lose two-one and still qualify for the final. So I would bring out him. I would give Bastian Schweinsteiger a go and Fellaini a go in midfield. Why not? Bastian Schweinsteiger hasn't played a lot of football. I would go for Wayne Rooney in behind Marcus Rashford. Why not? And and out, out on the wings, I don't know what he's going to go for. He might go for Lingard. Martial could come back in as well. We've got options there. So a, a similar lineup to that would be nice. Martial not even in the squad for that game against Stoke City. But I would change a few players anyway for this game. Hull City didn't really... They caused a couple of problems at Old, Tra uh, Old Trafford, but Manchester United fairly comfortable winners of the, the game. Snodgrass, what, didn't re I mean, he's about their best player up there, but they don't score many goals. I think Manchester United are going to get through this all right. I didn't really see any problems from from Old City that were going to worry me. I've watched them this evening, just previously I watched them play against Chelsea, and they never really they threatened a bit, but I never really thought that Chelsea were ever going to concede in that game. They had a few long-range shots, but nothing really. I mean, Courtois had a few saves, to, as I say, to make, but I always thought Chelsea would be in control of it. And they upped the tempo second half and got that second goal late on. <clears throat> just enough to kill it off. So, I think this is going to be comfortable for Manchester United getting through. I'm not saying we're going to definitely win the game, but I think we could, could easily just see this out as a draw. Which I would actually be happy with if we just played out. Played out a decent 1-1 draw or something. I'd be happy with that because we don't need to win this game. Just a 1-1 draw will do me fine. I can see it being a 1-1 draw actually in this game. I don't think Manchester United are going to go all guns blazing to win this game. Because we don't really need to win the game. We've got no need to win the game. A draw's fine. Get through to the final. Worry about that Wigan game and win the Wigan game. That's the more important one because if you don't beat Wigan, you're out the cup. 
If you lose this one 2-1, one, we still go through to the final. And Manchester United have to be winning one of these trophies this season. It will be an absolute catastrophe if we don't win something this season with the amount of money we've spent, with the manager that we've got in. Them players that we've got on that pitch, the likes of Zlatan Ibrahimovic, Paul Pogba, Mkhitaryan, we've got to be looking to win a trophy at least. And as Sir Alex Ferguson said, winning a trophy this season is, gr is great at Manchester United. He always tar targeted one trophy a season. Obviously, you can't always win a trophy every season. There's not many trophies to win, but the League Cup may be bottom of our priority. But if we finish fourth and win the League Cup, it's better than being Arsenal. Arsenal always finish in the top four and barely win a trophy. They've won two FA Cups in about the last 13 years or 12 years. You know, just qualifying for the Champions League is just a waste of time on its own. Unless you're going to go out there the next season and win that Champions League, which I don't think we're capable of winning it at this moment in time, you, you, you just, it's not, and people can say, well, it's better than nothing qualifying for the Champions League, but it's, it is nothing. We're not getting anything out of it. We don't want to be fine for fourth, just, just getting fourth place every season. As we say, it's not, as we laugh at Arsenal fans saying it's a fourth place trophy, their fourth place trophy. We, we don't want to be like that. We want to win trophies, and I'll be happy if we win the League Cup and maybe the FA Cup and the, and the Europa League because we're not obviously going to win the win the Premier League now and finish in the top four. That would be, be a great season for me. Anyway, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm going for a 1-1 draw in this game. I think we'll just get the job done and hopefully go to Wembley. A great day out. We'd love to be able to go to the final if we could get a ticket. would hopefully be a great day out. would love to beat the Scousers in the final, but would prefer, obviously... Southampton in the final just because I don't know if I could take that in case we lost it. Anyway, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll talk to you all again soon.